This is the site that everybody wants to see. The public plaza is closed now, but all kinds of pictures are being taken. Who should they belong to? Picture this. A new thing opens in New York City. People look at it, take photos, post them. Definitely something you won't see, you know, anywhere else. You like it too? Yeah, it's a nice new tourist attraction. The new big draw is the big staircase, the vessel as it's called at Hudson Yards. The plaza and interactive art piece that you can walk up opened five days ago. It probably has appeared on your social media feed. Ed Dutchmaz's photo popped up on mine Wednesday. Now look, it's an interior shot from the top. What you really need to see are the terms of service for the vessel at Hudson Yards. What if any picture someone took of the place belonged to Hudson Yards? And that's definitely, you know, a, a gray area issue uh, for their advertisement, I guess. But as far as ownership, it definitely should say who, who took it. Council member Ben Callis heard about the issue via social media and is introducing legislation to address the use of photos and identity for marketing. We want tourist attractions. We want people to be able to come. But for the 60 million tourists who come to New York City, I want them to know that when they visit a tourist attraction, their images are safe, their videos are safe, and their identities are safe. On Wednesday, new terms of service appeared. Check out number eight, my social media posts. Between me and company, I retain ownership. Kai Reavy is an intellectual property rights lawyer in Manhattan. You're not giving up ownership if you're just giving a license. You would just be giving a license for an individual to use the work in a specific format, and that's what the language is for. That actually is a really nice uh, Instagram picture and social media post, as my producer Pierce just said. So there, I'll uh, post that on the way home tonight. Uh, Hudson Yards officials said they really just wanted to be clear that uh, anything that appeared on our social media posts, uh, that they saw that they could share it, that that would be something that they could amplify. This place opens again in the morning. We love you. We love all the things that Britain means to you.